What's going on guys, Fetty Louie here, bringing guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid fade on my boy, so stay tuned. We started by saturating the hair and combing everything in place, making sure everything is nice and neat. We then started off with our no guard all the way open, and we created our second guideline first, instead of making our first guideline with our trimmers. This is going to help us keep the fade a little bit lower and contour it to his head shape. Now that we're done creating our second guideline, we can move on to our gold FX and create our first guideline. Now that we're done creating our bald line and balding him out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and then slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Don't be afraid to move the ear with your opposite hand and also stretch the skin to give you more room to blend. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow the Instagram. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. As you guys can see, now that I'm done softening up the line with the one guard and its lever, I can move on to the half guard and I'm also going to use the corners and the lever to erase it completely. Sometimes there's still a faint line after using your half guard, so switching over to your no guard all the way open using those corners will definitely help. Now that we're done with the lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. I'm also flicking out as much as possible and I'm staying away from the parietal ridge, I'm not going too high. With this same guard, I'm then going to use the lever to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard.
Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard and its lever, we can move on to the one and a half guard and try to erase it completely. Again, sometimes after using your one and a half guard, there's still a faint line, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using those corners will definitely help. Now we're moving on to our three guard all the way open, and this is gonna help us create our silhouette and finish off the top. The hair was a little bit oversaturated, so I took out my blow dryer and dried it out a little bit. Now that the hair is a little bit drier and laid down, we can move on to our three guard all the way open and flick out as much as possible while using the comb to feed the hair into the clipper. This is going to help us build our silhouette. Here I'm detailing as much as possible with my one and a half guard. I'm also using the corners as much as possible. Now that we're done detailing the sides, we can move on to the back and we're starting off with our no guard all the way open and we're slightly closing the lever midway and all the way close, attacking that initial guideline. We are near the subital bone, so you want to make sure you detail as much as possible and pay attention. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to slightly use this lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, I'm moving on to my half guard and I'm going to use the corners and its lever to remove the line completely. Now I'm heading back to my one guard all the way open just to re-clarify the line and also take it up a little bit higher. Now I'm moving on to my two guard all the way open and I'm using it to create my fourth guideline. Remember we're also using this lever to soften up this line and we're going to get ready for the one and a half guard. As you guys can see we're using the one and a half guard and it's lever to soften up this line and try to remove it completely. But since it's right on top of the silver bone, we are going to need to switch over to our one guard all the way open and use the corners and its lever to erase the line completely.
Now we're moving out to our three guard all the way open and we're gonna use our comb to feed the hair into the clipper while we flick out with our guard. You also want to pay attention and not go high here because you will cut the calic area and then it's going to cave in. Now we're moving on to our thinning shears and we're going to grab the hair with our comb and cut it with our thinning shears just the tip so we're also making sure we don't go too deep and cut too much bulk off. I did see a faint line between the one and a half guard and the two guard so I switched over to my two guard and used the lever to soften it up. We're going to knock the beard to a three guard all the way open and we're going to make sure everything's nice and even and run everything over multiple times. Now we're going to move on to the sideburns. When I'm fading the beard, I always start off with my no guard all the way open and then I slightly close the lever all the way closed. Then I move on to my one guard all the way open and use it as my second guideline and then I slightly close the lever all the way close again. Sometimes I use the one and a half guard, sometimes I don't. Now we're moving on to the two guard all the way open and we're also using this to debulk. Now we're switching over to our gold FX, we're going to light up the back of the beard. We're also being careful we don't press too hard near the neck area because you could bite them with the teeth of the trimmer. The C cup areas are some of the most important parts of the haircut. So when I'm using my trimmers, I always start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch. And I'm always making sure I go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Because if not, then the hair is going to shift and then you won't line them up properly. Here we're cleaning up the bottom of the mustache, then we're going to move on to the lower beard and make sure it's as crispy as possible. When lining up the beard, you want to do it like the C cups, you want to go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer, because if not, then the hair is going to shift and then you won't line them up properly, then it won't look as crispy as possible. Again, when you're lining up the C cups, I always start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch. I'm also making sure I use the corners of the blade and I'm not pressing too hard because you could leave them a little rash or you could cut them with the teeth of the trimmer. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow the Instagram. Now that we're done detailing the back, we can move on to our shear work and make sure everything's nice and even on top. When I get to the sides of the capitis, I'm all cutting at an angle and I'm making sure it blends in with the top and sides.
What's going on guys, Fetty Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid taper on my boy, so stay tuned. We started off by cutting the top with the foreguard all the way closed. He was doing a big transformation. He usually has curls on top with the mid taper, but now we're going to do a four on top with the mid taper and make sure everything's nice and even. Now that we're done debulking the top, I'm going to saturate the hair and try to lay everything down. Now that the hair is nice and saturated, we're going to use our comb to lay the hair down as much as possible. Before we use our hot towel, we're going to go ahead and create our first guideline in a back taper, contouring to his neck shape. We're doing this while our hot towel is warming up. Now that our hot towel is ready, we could go ahead and apply it on the head. This is going to help us lay down the hair and make everything nice and even. Okay, now we're going to take it off and drag the towel across the head. As you guys can see, everything's nice and laid down. Then it's going to dry and lay down even more. Now that we're done bonding them out and laying the hair down, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You usually want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Now that we're done setting in our second guideline, we could go ahead and slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. As you guys can see, I'm using the comb to feed the hair into the clipper. We're then going to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that guideline. This is going to help us soften up the line and get ready for the half guard. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave it for super things down below or follow the Instagram. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard and its lever, we can move on to the half guard and erase the line completely. Now that we're done with our half guard, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. As you guys can see, I'm using the comb to feed the hair into the clipper and I'm flicking out with the clipper guard. Also, we're going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard. As you guys can see, now that the line is soft enough, we're moving on to our one and a half guard and we're going to use the corners and the lever to erase the line completely. Sometimes there's still a faint line after using your one and a half guard, so switching over to your one guard all the way open would definitely help. Moving 
moving on to our three guard all the way open, we're gonna create our fifth guideline and tie everything into the four guard on top. Here I'm going into my previous guards and I'm making sure everything's nice and even and I'm getting any dark spots that I see. Moving on to our four guard all the way closed, we're gonna make sure everything's nice and even. Before we line up the ear line, we're going to make sure the side tapers are nice and smooth and blend in naturally to the sides. Now that we're done detailing, we can move on to our gold FX and start off at the bottom working our way to the top arch. Make sure to be gentle when there's thin skin because you could bite them with the teeth of the trimmer if you press too hard. Okay guys, I started making it as a high taper, but then I remembered he wanted a mid taper, so then we turned it into a mid taper. I apologize. But watch how this is transformed. When I made my first guideline, I cut off a lot of the C cup that I was going to cut off anyways, so it actually gave me a head start. Now that we're done botting them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. When I did my first guideline, there was a lot of overhang and I started off very low, so I'm able to use my go to FX and recover the C cut. So no damage was done, no worries, no worries. This cut came out perfect. Now that we're done botting them out, we can move on to our shave stick and we're going to apply this before we use our foil shaver so he doesn't bump up. Now that we're done removing the stubble, we're going to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done with our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. As you guys can see, I'm mainly using the corners of the blade making a rainbow shape. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard and its lever, we can move on to the half guard and erase the line completely. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. Remember, we're going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line to get ready for the one and a half guard.
As you guys can see, now that I'm done softening up the line with the two guard and its lever, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Now we're moving on to our three guard all the way open and this is going to help us connect to the four guard on top. Here I'm going into my previous guards like the two guard and I'm detailing as much as possible. Also, as you guys can see, my opposite hand is on the top of his head and I'm pulling the skin, stretching the skin as much as possible. Now we're heading back to the one and a half guard and we're going to detail as much as possible using the corners. Now we're heading back to our Gorda FX just to detail the C-cup a little bit more. As you guys can see, this taper is coming out real nice and clean. Now we're detailing with our no guard all the way open and we're going to use our corners to flick out as much as possible. Now we're going to move on to the other side and I usually start off at the bottom working our way to the top arch using the corners of the blade, especially when I'm lining up my C-cups. He does have a lot of overhang over his hairline, so it does look like I'm cocking him back, but he actually has no hair there, it's just overhang. When you're using the trimmers, you want to make sure you go as slow as possible and make sure that the hair is feeding into the teeth of the trimmer, because if you don't, then the hair is going to shift and then you won't line them up properly. When you're lining someone up, you always want to make sure you spend as much time here and take your time. Never rush this part. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow the Instagram. Now that we're done lining them up, we can move on to his gold tee. Now that we're done lining up his goatee, we could go ahead and move on to our foil shavers to remove the stubble. Now that we're done removing the stubble and making sure everything's nice and clean, we can move on to our Turkish Razor and Durban Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. When you're using your razor, you always want to keep it at a 45 degree angle and stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. 